that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is my car tour. Hey guys, this is Quinn, that's Nazi iPhone Gun. I finally decided that it was time to make this video for you. Uh, every time I make an update video or uh, decide to uh, talk about a different thing while I'm driving, which is usually when I think the best, uh, I get the question, what is your car? What are you driving? So today I got a car wash and decided, you know what? I'll show YouTube uh, what I drive. So here it is. It is a Subaru, uh, 2002 Subaru Impreza WRX. Uh, it is a wagon. Woo! And uh, so, yeah, um, it's a two liter engine with uh, a bunch of aftermarket garbage on it. 2.0, or excuse me, Cobb 2, um, single turbo, a bunch of stuff that I don't really know how it works. And, uh, anyways, I know that it goes fast. Uh, so, there it is. I have some Wicked Sick TSW 19-inch wheels on there. Uh, as we go to the front here, we have the hood scoop, the cute bug-eye lights that Subaru did for a while, and then uh, we have the roof, the windshield, and this side, same. It's a four-door. Gas on the back on the right. And then uh, there's the uh, oh beautiful fin right here. And then, uh, oh yeah, advertising at its finest. Uh, so it's not an STI, I just found that badge on eBay and it was the cheapest because mine had fallen off. So I was like, hey, you know what, I'll buy it. That dent I have to get removed next week. And yeah, so that's pretty much it though. And uh, it has cool exhaust. Anyway, so there's the outside. It's quite speedy. Um, I know, I drove it for quite a duration of time quite fast. Shh, don't tell mom and dad. Uh, but... So here it is, we're inside here. Um, in the back, there's pretty much no leg room, especially when you're, uh, so there, that's my hand right there. I'm touching the back of the seat and the back bench. So there's pretty much no room, and do you know why that is? That is because, oh, feedback. This is why I love the iPhone, see this? No bueno, stick you in the back, iPhone. Anywho, so, Wow, it is still going on. I'm getting email, that's why. Okay, so uh, other than that though, uh, back bench, you don't have a lot of leg room, especially because I'm super tall. I'm six foot three. So uh, yeah, it's quite a bit of work for me to slide this all the way back. I get in the car and people are like, how do you even reach the pedals? But uh, gas, hood latch, fuse box with I have my change in cruise control, uh, fog lights, lock, windshield, all the standard here. Um, in the front here, we can turn this puppy on. In the front here, we have a, uh, this is five speed, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so that's cool, it is manual. There's a clutch down there. There's my three pedals, yeah, three pedals. Um, so gas, brake, clutch. This video is terrible, I apologize. Uh, pretty much standard dash. There's the turbo gauge right there. Um, all the regular instrumentation you're used to on a vehicular. Uh, lights, I have halogen lights up in front. Uh, my clock is possessed by the devil. It stopped working and so I thought, hey, you know what? I'll pull it out and uh, solder it back to its great position. Solder to the wrong one, and there you go. So time flies when you're driving really fast. Um, right here, standard climate control. This is an aftermarket head unit, which I will get to in a minute. This is radar detector. It does radar detection and laser jamming. Uh, don't tell Double D50 about that. He'll arrest me. Um, so yeah, it does. It picks up all radars, everything that a cop uses. I get it quite a bit in advance. And then this is the mute button because it makes a very annoying noise when you drive by something. Mophie juice pack air, pretty much just the standard. No, I'm just kidding. That's just sitting there. Uh, beautiful glasses, razor blade. These are mirror adjustments. Uh, the seats I'm sitting on are these awesome leather seats. They are aftermarket. Uh, when you buy a Subaru WRX until about last year, I think, you could only get carpet as an option. I don't know why it was. But so these are really, really comfy aftermarket racing seats and uh, 
yeah regular belts i want racing belts just because they look really cool but uh there's your rubber floor mats when you live in utah and it's the winter it's quite handy to have those ice pick oh yeah and uh so that's pretty much it um emergency lights oh yeah that light right there the green one is also to the laser jamming this will jam k band well it detects k band ka band which is most police use x um, all radio frequencies and then it does laser jamming as well which is handy so if a cop buzzes you you have about three seconds to slow down before you're busted so that's quite handy to have um, made by Beltronics manufactured in the Canada and yeah go Canada and so that green light just displays to me that everything is good there's no policeman around me it turns red quite often so this is pretty much what I love in this car. I have a wicked sick sound system that's all aftermarket. Uh, Harman Kardon stuff. Excellent, excellent sound. Um, and then this is my head unit. Now it has GPS. It's made by Pioneer as you can see. It's the AVIC F90BT so it does have Bluetooth. Um, it, col it will connect to my phone which is really cool. Uh, I can do address point of interest. has MSN Direct so I can see gas prices, all that fun jazz. And then there's the map itself. And I hit the eject button, but there's nothing in there. Uh, music wise, gotta be careful with that because I have copyright problems in this YouTube partnership gig. So there you go, but um, you can see the map in 3D or you can go 2D and see an eagle eye overhead view of where you are. And then pretty much, yeah, I mean, standard stuff there. That tells me my current location, which is cool. And then you can route different places and uh, all that other jazz. Uh, contacts when my phone is paired, which it isn't. It's paired when that little blue light comes on. But when it is paired, I have full access to my contact list. Uh, I can have a dial pad, can call Google 411, which is really handy. That's 411 without the expensive prices, phone volume, phone book transfer, missed calls, dial calls, received calls, call home, which is cool, you just hit that and it just dials your home phone number. And the dial pad, it shows you your battery life on your phone, which is really neat. I don't know how it does that, but that's cool. And it actually works with the iPhone. Uh, settings, pretty much nothing special here. You can change a few EQ things, but other than that, and then AV source, uh, disc, uh, SD, XM, Sirius, HD, digital radio if you all want those I don't care about those and I don't subscribe so I just have FM radio AM radio and it does have um, yeah so FM radio I might get an HD tuner for digital radio in here because digital radio there's a lot of stations here that are HD stations and they sound killer um, iPod compatibility full compatibility really cool artist genres playlist you can select anything uh, you select where you want to go by the letter here if you have a lot of music, of which I do, and really organized too. Uh, AC, DC, AC, dash, DC, AC, slash, AC. so I have to clean stuff up a little, but, so if I wanted, let's go to M here. If I wanted to go to um, Memoirs, there's actually my iPod Nano in here. So it's connected in the center console here. And, oh, it is my iPod Classic, so. Okay, so, uh, but you go to what you want to play, so we'll do Musicant. That's the song I own rights to, and I can use whenever I want. So we'll go there. Memoirs. I have bass cranked up, so it's already shaking the side panel on the side of the car. But there's the mids here. There's uh, tweeters somewhere, I don't know where they are, treble, little tweeters, and then the sub's under this chair. And that's the, the sub is the only thing that's stock in this car in terms of audio. So I gotta replace that because it doesn't sound that great. It, it bumps, but you know. Uh, anyway, you can do by playlist, genres, artists, albums, podcasts, which is cool because I love podcasts. You can shuffle, play, pause, stop, start over. So everything you can do on your iPod. And then there's even video. You can watch a DVD. You can watch TV shows that are on your iPod. So Dollhouse Season 1. Uh, great show, by the way. If you haven't seen Dollhouse, check it out. Uh, movies, which are all unorganized. The Carter, District 9, Crash Course 2. 
uh, Family Guy, just a bunch of episodes, Food Inc., Grapevine Fires, Paranormal Activity, The Rocker Up, you know, just all that good stuff. And uh, so there you go. There's rentals that you can access to, which is kind of cool. Uh, video podcasts, TV shows, so you can do everything on here. And so it's pretty, it's pretty neat. You can also go by SD card, and there's even a USB slot in the back where you can throw music in there. But this is just a plastic inlay. But if you have an SD card, you throw that in there, and you can play music off that as well. Uh, it has voice control, and I never use it, so it's not synced right now. But you could say, show my recent call list, or you have to be inside a menu, I think. But there's accessibility. This thing's cool. There's accessibility for a rear view camera. So you could say, play the album, unknown album. It probably won't work. Or you could say, change the source to FM radio. You suck. Anyway, so yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty basic. Oh, that actually worked. Yeah! FM radio, so there you go. Um, quite neat there. Uh, all the local stations, which are messed up because it's on FM2. I want FM1. How do I fix that? I don't even know. Um, dang it. I'm on my second preset list. Oh, there you go. No. Well, i got to fix that because that doesn't work. So All my preset stations are gone. Darn you, Subaru. Anyway, so yeah, uh, it's getting dark. Turn the lights on. Yeah, woo. But pretty neat little car. I love driving it around. Uh, that was pretty much waste of your time, so I apologize. But everyone asked me, what car do you drive and why do you have it? What it? There you go. Uh, that's Nazi iPhone guy, and as always, stay snazzy.